Okay. Meanwhile, joining us here on the Kirby Couch music legend, ladies and gentlemen, give it up, Meatloaf. Yeah. We need some Meatloaf! Oh, no, 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 no. no. You, you know what? No, 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 let me just explain to you. Go ahead. I really... They, like, when we're doing Vegas, right? So that's what I'm here promoting, obviously. Right. So, and when they first did the ad mats for the promotion, they put Superstar, I made them take it down. And then they put Legend, I made them take it away. Okay. Because I don't like being called a Superstar and a Legend. What would you prefer? I, meat. Okay. Okay, <laughs> fine. What about, what about Expert on Love? Because did you hear this? Uh, yeah, now that about? they could do that. Right. Meat right. Love. You understand women. Las you Vegas women. Expert on Love. You get love. This recent study out of the University well, of Texas. Well, I'm a sex god, Elizabeth. Yes. Right. In fact, we I have know. some footage. Let's roll I mean, Rod Stewart wishes he was me in the right. 70s. That's exactly. why we're asking you. Because they say that if men work 50 plus hours, the wives are happier. Women are happier when the men work more. And you're what in a happy say? marriage of 13 years. That's right. Is this true? Well, my wife hates it when I'm not home. Really? Is that yeah. what she says? Oh, yeah. I say that. I say that it's, it's BS that the wife is happier. The only reason the wife would be happier is she doesn't have time to get back from the motel. <laughs> what? Uh, what, are you, what are you talking Some about? Las Vegas. But I'm telling right you, there. yeah. Hey, well, but I'm telling you, you have just poo pooed a study that consists of 4,000 middle aged men and women who have questioned this between 1979 and Well, that's the problem right what do you mean? there. What is the problem? The middle aged men and women. <laughs> yeah. You see? Because if you go around and actually talk to middle aged women, men and women, you'll lose your mind. A group of how many? Of uh, 4,000. 4, 4, oh, oh I would, you'd be insane. <laughs> I mean, they're, they, you know, they, okay, can you imagine how many different opinions they actually have in there? Yes, yeah, so maybe they were just 4, so, so, the they, so what they says, oh, look at your marriage and how many hours do you Let work? Let me tell you what my wife, because I go, for, and I'm gone for a long time, and when I come home, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I want to stay in bed, I don't want to do anything, and my wife goes, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Every time you come home, I get nothing but leftover meatloaf. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I think we've just de determined something, though. You're, you may be asleep a lot, uh, which would count as, as uh, working or away from your wife. What, what are your sleeping hours? You go to bed at what time? Yeah, you probably go to bed at 4 uh, well, in the morning. We, we I chat after the... Well, I don't, I don't talk after shows, but anyway, y'all, oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky 4 o'clock. Eight o'clock rolls around sometime. I'm freaking out. I'm climbing the walls, going to go to sleep. You okay, moron. so then what time do you get up for the day? Well, I have to. In in Vegas, the show starts at seven, and I normally, if we're doing concerts and we're going on right. eight thirty, sure. I will show up at the venue at three o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. And I walk. I, I and this is literally true. I walk the entire arena. Oh, that's great. From the top to the bottom, and and all the way around because right. I want to see the sight lines. I want to know that everybody that's bought a ticket can see. That is so cool. Wow. And, and to make sure that what we do on stage, that we're opened up enough for them to see. So wow. tell me that's about crazy. this whole show, because you're more okay. than just a singer. You, it's a full, you said the term rock on. It's a rock on show. What does that mean? I did? Yeah. Oh, I'm senile. I don't know. So, so anyway. I'm not going to quote you it's, anymore. It's not no, just don't. A, because I probably said it. I just uh, don't remember. I tell you what. Meet. Take a look. Uh, there's, there's the show right there. Yeah. Tell that, us that's a piece of it. Um, but I get to do a lot of improv. And, and, and I, I worked in, you know, I, I started as an actor. So my, my roots are, are, are actor roots. I've never said that before. That's a silly phrase. So anyway. Um, and, you know, I was lucky enough to, uh, I understudied John Belushi, was a good friend of mine, and, and I, I didn't ever actually take stage with Gilda, but I rehearsed with Gilda. Gilda Radd? Yeah, and, and so, I, and then I took over the show, National Lampoon Show, John's part, and uh, it's all improv. So I learned from the best. I mean, I took improv in college, but un unless you take it to a practical experience, what you learn in college is, like, stupid, because unless, it, you got to... Right. You're better off not going to college. Right. No, I shouldn't say that. Parents are going, what's he doing? $50,000 right, and it's, 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 it's really internships and, and sure. practical Life. experience. Hands on. Life. Hands on. Thank and that's you. what you do at uh, Plant okay, Hollywood. Okay, so Plant, Plant, Plant Hollywood. No, I get to, I'll go real fast now because I know I'm not concise. Uh, I get to do a lot of characters. I open the show with a character that I developed down at Public Theater called Rabbit. He's from Longview, Texas, and he talks like this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, know, I know you're expecting a lost baby show but i ain't got one and i'm really sorry i know it's like i should be like circus Olay, 
but I'm not. You know, I ain't got a juggler. No, I ain't got a juggler at all. And then uh, so everything that I say I don't have is behind me. Of course. While I'm doing it. Uh, That's great. Right. And then you'll break Aww. into the, some of the classic songs. Then we go into, like, the next song we go into is actually Hot Patootie from Rocky Horror. And we, oh, we'll put in a little time warp. And it's a big production number. And at the end of the show, you've, you're exhausted. You're flat out. You can't talk. Listen, you're done. It, I, my rule of thumb is this. What? If I have any energy left yes. to do anything else but crawl back to my room, I haven't done my job. If you don't want to buy a ticket now, a that man that puts impressive. his heart into his work. He's, so, he doesn't like the term legend, but he puts on a heck of a show. Wow, Meatloaf, uh, he, he starts his residency in Vegas on February 13th at Planet Hollywood. Thank you very much for dropping mm, by. It's You're more than welcome. In and honor. just remember, wives, get close to home, okay? <laughs> go home. Go home. Go, go home in less than 50 hours. All right, All right. Meatloaf said it. Oh, Good to see you, They man. are going to love your show. Thank All you, right. Meatloaf.